Well, hello there everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Fat Tomo. I'm here in Cornwall at Myler today near Falmouth and I'm going out on my friend's boat. I'll uh, grab the camera, spin you around and give you a quick look around the boat. Well, here we go. The boat is an American boat. It's a Wahoo, which is uh, sort of a predecessor to the Boston Whaler. I believe the people who made the Whalers worked for Wahoo before leaving to make the Whalers. We've got a a 90 horsepower four-stroke Suzuki outboard, which is about five years old. Um, a 2.5 Suzuki backup. There's a boarding ladder. We've obviously got the seating, the usual controls, the throttle, the steering, all the gauges. There's a radio. There's a, a Raymarine plotter. Cool box. A nice sun pad at the front. The most important bit there, we've got our uh, breakfast there and some drinks. So yeah, we're down here at Myla. Uh, we're going to go out for a day's messing about and fishing. I don't exactly know what we're doing, but we will find out. But this is wonderful Myla. Anyway, I will uh, update you in a little while. Well, wow, here we are just leaving Myla now. Got the swinging moorings. The slipway is over there. And this is a, a Carrick Road. St. Justin Roseland over there, you, um, just there. You might uh, have seen that in one of my other videos. From these boys here onwards, there's no speed limit. Falmouth is off around that corner. And Captain Big Nose is there. I don't know. I don't know who he is. He's following me around, but you know, uh, it's very kind of Robert to let me on his boat. Especially after last time. Uh, well, this is the man who was on my boat when uh, a hole appeared in it, so it's his fault. Anyway, <laughs> let's hope we get in without getting too wet. Anyway, Falmouth's that way. It looks like there's a biggish boat out there as well. Is that a cruise ship out there? Yeah. It's right out on the horizon there. I don't know if you can see it, but I expect we'll go over and have a look at it. weather As you can see, it's quite difficult holding on to this as we're doing this. Ooh, no phone. Oh, come on, out. That's the Helford River over there where the land dips away. Well, here we are coming to a place called Porthalstock. I've never been in before. Apparently there's lots of uh, granite and that that goes from there out to the ships. So Robert's going to show me around. So uh, we're just having a quick nose into here. So, uh, mm. Well, this is Porthalstock Beach, obviously. Tractor and out there for launching. Ships come in alongside here apparently for loading the granite. You can see the where there's mines and things I suspect. Over the side of top of that hill I think. What's left of a big old uh, 
structure, stroke harbour wall protection. It's a big old block of concrete, isn't it? No idea what's built for, but... No. Imagine Almost looks like a bridge piling, doesn't it? But yeah. there's not one the other side. Yeah, I did look at the um, load out here now, it's granite. Yeah. It's a big granite quarry just in behind there. Yes, I thought that just now, yeah, so just in there, there's a granite quarry and I take it they bring the ships along here, along the wall. Quite an interesting... Um, <laughs> I nearly fell over then. <laughs> I don't know if you can see right out on the horizon there, there's a ship there, which we think is a granite ship. Anyway. Look, there's blue sky over there. Anyway, where are we going next? Are we going well, Lizard we're, Way? We're sticking those out well, to we're going to go that way towards Kavrak and see what it's like. Smile. You're going to be famous. Really? Yeah, only in police stations, but you'll be famous. <laughs> <Again>. <laughs> Lovely day, and the blue sky's coming. Here we have the Manacles rocks, out here. Some of these waves out here, it's quite a big swell. Kovarak or Kovarak, it's the old lifeboat station there. There's a little harbour around that corner, Do which you you'll see. Yeah, yeah, the lifeboat house does fish and chips. There's the beach around the cove. <clears throat> so we're going to go in and have a look just at the edge of the harbour. Oh, seagulls, look, and the blue sky's trying. Look at that weather front. It's trying. Love the old thatched roofs on some of those buildings up there. Old cottages. Still some ships sinking around out there. There we go, look, the little harbour tucked away. Mainly full of uh, commercial boats, as you can see. <coughs> Are we going right in? Uh, we're sticking, I can't really go too far in. Cause no, well, there's not that far to go. <laughs> no, no, yeah. The old, uh, yeah. yeah, the slipway there that the fishing boats use. out of the way, look at that. Obviously it's a drying harbour when the tide's right out. Beautiful sand though. Absolutely lovely. Anyway, I think that's as far as we dare nose in. So I'm going to stand up here just to get knocked over in a minute. And we're reversing back out now. And are we heading back now towards Falmouth? Uh, we're sticking those around the corner onto the headland and see what it's going around for living. Yeah, it's quite a swell out there. Yeah. So Falmouth is back that way. The lizard is the other way. 
we'll see where we end up. I think we've got a bit too much swell today to get out to the lizard. Some of these waves are quite big. big Heading over to St Moors now, are we, for a cup of tea? Woo. Wonderful October day. As you can see, the blue sky there, the cloud there with the weather front above Rob's head. Woohoo! Lovely looking boat passing us. I don't know what it is, but it's lovely. There's a Falmouth over there in the docks, and we're going to go into some moors for a cup of tea over there. Well, here we are now, moored up in St Moors. Gonna head up over there to get a cup of tea. This is lovely St Moors Harbour. There's the uh, trip boat there that comes across from Falmouth. So yeah, all berthed up there nicely. This pontoon in the uh, summer is longer. They have like a floating one on it. But yeah, there's the boat. Let's go up and get a cup of tea. We're now leaving St Moors. We only just got off that pontoon because you can see the pontoon's drying out. The boat was on the bottom. We just managed to drag it back and off. I was going to film leaving, but we didn't have a lot of choice. <laughs> Look. The sun's coming out. The weather front's moved over. We're reversing out all right. So yeah, we've had crab sandwiches and a cup of tea in there in St Moors, but it does dry, yeah, and we've just got out. So I think now we're gonna head over towards Falmouth and have a look. Just coming in by Falmouth docks now. Got the Pendennis shipyard here. We have some very big boats out of the water. You can see the super yacht to the left and then the cruise ship in the dry dock the right there or in the center and then the crane got some navy ships here as well there's three of them in in total there's two there another one here and a three-masted schooner type thing of some sort that is a wonderful place so much variety one of them jacked up rigs there which is jacked up rather than mooring up Up that way is up towards um, 
Flushing and then Penryn. Flushing is just over that side. But yeah, look, we got the tug there, the port tug. Doesn't that boat look small there, moored up there? Looks tiny, doesn't it, moored there compared to the others? Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than us. Yeah. Probably a couple of fat blokes like me on it. And then we got the another one of the navy ships here that are based here. Yeah, look, we get back on there. Look at the size of that cruise ship now. What a lovely boat. Well, if that's what you like. This is the actual docks itself. Yeah, the Argus is there having work done. As uh, our captain said, that seems to be in here having work done a lot. Got all the lifeboats down over there. More up there. Uh, yeah. Wonderful Falmouth. You can see up the river that way. Up the Penryn River. Over, over there. Just there is the Falmouth Haven and the visitors' moorings. Um, there's another marina here and the other side of that marina is the Maritime Museum and a public slipway. Let's just see what's around this corner. Got the tugs moored up here. This is where the tall ships were moored up um, last year, last August. 2023 that is, not 2024. Oh, and there is a ship in behind the tugs. The Mercia. See, it's only Spanish then, didn't I? Then you've got the wonderful Falmouth lifeboat there. Hats off to all the lifeboat crew. Thank you for everything you do. Yeah, and right in the corner there, we've got the lifeboat. The wonderful people from the RNLI. You gonna spit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, gonna spin around now. And uh, I think this is Penn Dennis Marina, I can't remember the name. But look, there's some uh, small um, leisure boats, aren't there? That's lovely, isn't it, that boat? The shape of that. That is just, it's like a mini QE2. Yeah. Yeah. See, if you were a real mate, you'd have bought me one of them. You know? No, I know you're not. <laughs> what a beautiful boat. And there's some other beautiful boats in here as well. I forget what that boat there, I forget what make they are, but can you see it looks like a car at the back? I'm trying to think what yeah. car. It's made by the manufacturers of the, of the car. The other side of the uh, marina now. Let me know about that boat that I said uh, was like a car, if anyone knows what make is lovely princess i love these princesses as well i think i like this square angerness of it there's the national maritime museum and obviously lots of other boats and uh there's the slipway oh and a shetland 535 oh proper Easy boat tiger. and you can um launch here it's public slip um you have to uh, pay obviously um, there is limited parking and there is a boat park up there for trailer parks but this is actually in Falmouth itself right in the town um, as you can see there's a pontoon but as the tide's down like it is some of it's dry but yeah 
Uh, you see, when you're a boat captain and you get to a certain age, you know, you have to have your afternoon nap. I won't be the same age as you next year because you'll be a year older. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look, I'm in charge. Ooh, look. What's this turny thing do? So, anyway, we're uh, just going up through the moorings in uh, up the Penryn River, Falmouth, just having a nose round. Back where we were just now, Falmouth Docks and all that's over there. So yeah, we're just having a nice little quiet potter while we wait for our teeth to set back in after being out there earlier. <laughs> so anyway, it's flushing, it's flushing over there. Uh, cool, isn't that ugly? Anyway, there. Oh, look at that, a sexy Shetland. A Shetland family for brilliant boats. Now there are definitely some strange contraptions moored here. I don't really know what to make of that. Some lovely old classic boats moored around here too. Look at that. Wow. There's another one just coming up that's bigger. Let's have a look at that. Absolutely wonderful boat. Certainly a bit beyond my uh, bank balance and maintenance capabilities. What oh, a lovely boat. spin round and we'll see some beautiful houses and one of my favorite houses is that one there the pink cottage you see the tides out but it's got its own slipway um, yes there's things humped up on it and it's got its own little harbour there look there's a harbour wall and that in there wonderful lovely cottage oh it's always been one of my favorite places that I just love the fact of having your own slipway and harbour so yeah, absolutely amazing. Fisherman there filming me, so I'll film him. Yeah, heading back towards Falmouth now. You can see the tides down a bit, we're over here at Flushing. You can see the houses are back onto the water. The tides in, lovely. Old fishing boat there, dried out, trawler. Some more wonderful looking yachts. Amazing. <laughs> You're supposed to be asleep, you are. <laughs> beautiful Falmouth in the beautiful area. Uh, there's a yacht there behind, sailing Goosewing. The docks there, brightened up nicely today, isn't it? And then we do have some boats. Look at that log that I just missed. That was lucky, wasn't it? Look at that lovely boat. What a wonderful place to be. 
See, when I become a male model and sell my body, I could uh, have a boat like that. What are you laughing at? <laughs> He's just jealous because he can't afford me. That's what it is. Anyway, we're going to head on back round towards Myla now. We're now heading up the Truro River. You can see the King Harry Ferry up there, the big blue thing in the middle. Here's some of the uh, Truro um, visitors' moorings. There's pontoons in the middle. Oh, yes. Oh, so that boat there's for service personnel, ex service personnel. Oh, that's good. As you can see, the Truro River is all beautifully tree lined. How beautiful. Right up by the King Harry Chain Ferry now. You can see the cars come down the roadway there and on. And then the ferry takes them and it goes across the Truro River and up there, obviously. I think that's a pontoon you can use as visitors as well, but um, it's National Trust. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Onwards and upwards. There are some lovely places up this river. Look at this little house and uh, boatyard, or stroke moorings. Absolutely wonderful. There's a fisher. Look at that, a fisher yacht, a sea line cruiser, and a westerly yacht. What a lovely place. Oh, look at that handsome man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Wonderful houses alongside the river. A bit further up towards Malpas now. We're not quite at Malpas, but we're getting that way. Again, these pontoons here, you can go on overnight as visitors and the Harbour Master comes down. But just glorious. The tide is rising, but it's still down, as you can see. A man walking his dog on the pontoon, up and down, up and down. Ooh. Me waving at him, I fell over then nearly. At least I would have fell over by accident and not uh, somebody causing it. Uh, uh, mind you, I don't think he meant to do it because he doesn't know what he's doing on a boat, that's what it is. And over there is the village of Malpas and the pub that me and my family got kicked out of because he said you can't park your camper in my car park when there was no other cars in there and we were going to have a meal but I'm not bitter so that's all right that was a few years ago now it may well be a completely different landlord or completely different pub now yeah but it is your family <laughs> well they took one, took one look at my wife and that was it I can say that because I know she doesn't pay any attention to anything I do, so she won't watch this video. There's a trip boat at the end there following us in. Absolutely lovely. As we move on round to Malpas. Oh, here we are right up at Malpas. That's uh, the Tresillian River there that goes up towards Tresillian. 
and that way. Me step up another step on the boat and try not to fall over. So that's the Malpas visitors um, pontoon there. You can stay on there. Absolutely lovely. And then around this way where we're going is the Truro River and you can go on up to Truro. Absolutely glorious. Do I make a good window for you to helm by? Yeah, sure do. Wow. Look at him, he's trying to look round me. Shall I move either way just to annoy him? Of oh, course, cool, it's yeah. rough up here, isn't it? Take the off if you want, and you go <laughs> he's a mean man. Well, you can see the spire over there there, sorry, of Truro, but as you can see, even though the tide is coming in, we're quite low on tide up here. How much depth have we got, Captain? Uh, about 700 mil. Yeah. 0. 0.7 of a metre. So 0. 0.7 of a metre, as you can see, we've trimmed up. The water is um, rivery, let's say, so I can't see the bottom. But yeah, this is just the end of Malpas. But I do think we're going to turn round in a bit, so uh, we'll see. Well, we just touched the bottom, so now we're spinning round. Yeah. We didn't quite get to Truro, but as I say, you can see the spire and that up there, but... Another day. Yeah, the tide's a little bit low, it is rising, but not enough, so that's okay. Oh, hey, look at that. This is the only way to travel, isn't it? And somebody's pulling faces at me and swearing at me, but we won't go into that. Of course I am looking at myself now. God, that's my head in that boy. Well, we've just turned around again and we're going back down the river. That's Malpas here again. We're going uh, back down to Myla to get the boat out of the water. I hope you enjoyed this video of us messing around for the day um, in Cornwall. So thank you very much for watching. Please check out my other videos because there's other ones of me down here in Cornwall and other things. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you very soon. In the harbour down by the south coast Tom has got a boat, that's the most Named her sexy with a smile and a wink Shapes by 650's got fuel in a tank Past the cliffs and the bays, salt water spraying up in a haze. Sunsets painting the sky in red and gold. Stories of our sailing never get old. Sexy dreams on the waves so high. Tom and his boat were touching the sky. Motor humming, wind in my hair. Freedom on the water without a care. In the cove where the fishers meet Boats a little paradise neat and sweet Friends gather 